Hi everyone, today in this video I'm gonna teach you how to solve equation involving the absolute value. So please keep watching the whole video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Hi everyone, today let's solve equation involving the absolute value. If you don't know what's the absolute value, please check in my channel, you're gonna find a video uh, about it. And here we have the absolute value of x equal to a, that's mean x is going to be equal to plus a or x is going to equal to minus a. And now let's move to the first example. So we have the absolute value of 2x minus 3 equal to 11. So that's going to be the absolute value of 2x minus 3 going to equal to 11 or minus 11. So 2x minus 3 equal to 11 or 2x minus 3 equal to minus 11. And now we're going to add 3 to both sides. So we have 2x minus 3 plus 3 equal to 11 plus 3. Or 2x minus 3 plus 3 equal to minus 11 plus 3. And 2x going to equal to 14. Or 2x going to equal to minus 8. So now to find x, we're going to divide both sides by 2. So 2x divided by 2 equal to 14 divided by 2. Or 2x divided by 2 equal to minus 8 over 2. So here x equal to 7 or x equal to minus 4. So now we find x solutions. Now let's check our solution to find if it's true or no. So we're going to replace x with the uh, solutions. So for first we're going to start with the x equal to 7. So we have the absolute value of 2 multiplied by x, which is 7, minus 3, equal to 11. Absolute value of 2 multiplied by 7 equal to 14, minus 3, equal to 11. And the absolute value of 14 minus 3 equal to 11, equal to 11. And that's... Uh, and the absolute value of 11, it's equal to 11, which is true. And now we're going to uh, check for x equal to minus 4. So we have the absolute value of 2x, which is minus 4, minus 3, equal to 11. So we have the absolute value of 2x, minus, 2x multiplied by minus 4, equal to minus 8, minus 3, equal 11. So the absolute value of minus 8 minus 3 equal to minus 11 equal to 11. And the absolute value of minus 11 it's equal to 11. So which is true. So now we can write the solution set is minus 4 7. Example. So we have the absolute value of minus 6 plus 3 minus 7 equal to 20. So first step, we're going to add 7 to both sides. So we have the absolute value of minus 6x plus 3 minus 7 plus 7 equal to 20 plus 7. And the absolute value of minus 6 plus 3, it's going to equal to 27. Now the absolute value of minus 6, x plus 3, it's going to equal either 27 or minus 27. Seven. So minus 6 plus 3 equal to 27 or minus 6 plus 3 going to equal to minus 27. 
Now we're gonna subtract three in both sides. So we have minus six x plus three minus three equal to 27 minus three or minus six x plus three minus three equal to 20 minus 27 minus three. So now minus six gonna equal to 24 or minus six x gonna equal to minus 30. Now we're gonna divide both sides by minus six. So we have minus six x over minus six equal to 24 over minus six or minus six x over minus six equal to minus 30 over minus six. So here x gonna equal to minus four or x gonna equal to five. So now we have find the two solutions. Now let's, <clears throat> now let's check our solution if it's true. So let's start with x equal to minus four. So we have the absolute value of minus six x, which is minus four plus three minus seven equal to 20. The absolute value of minus six minus four it's equal to 24 plus three minus seven equal to 20. And the absolute value of 24 plus three is equal to 27 minus seven equal to 20. And the absolute value of 27 is equal to 27 minus seven equal 20. And 27 minus seven is equal to 20. And that's equal to 20, which is true. And now we're gonna move to x equal to five. So we have the absolute value of minus six multiplied by five minus uh, plus three minus seven equal 20. So the absolute value minus six multiplied by five, it's minus three plus three minus seven equal to 20. So the absolute value of minus uh, 30 plus three, it's minus 27 minus seven equal to 20. And the absolute value of minus 27, it's gonna be 27 minus seven equal to 20. 27 minus seven equal to 20. And that's gonna be equal to 20. So that's true. And now we write the solution that is minus four, five. Now we have a different example. I would like you to stop the video and try it by yourself and then come back to check your answer. So we have five multiplied by absolute value of one minus four X minus 15 equal to zero. So first, we're gonna take the f uh, 15 to the other side. So we're gonna have five absolute value of one minus four X minus 15 plus 15 equal to 15. So that's equal to five absolute value of my one minus four X equal to 15. Now we're gonna divide both sides by five. So we're gonna have absolute value of one minus four X equal to 15 over five equal to three. 
So now the absolute value of 1 minus 4x is going to be equal either to 3 or minus 3. So 1 minus 4x equal, equal to 3 or 1 minus 4x equal to minus 3. So now we're going to uh, subtract minus 1 from both sides. So we're going to have minus 4x equal to 3 minus 1 or minus 4x equal to minus 3 minus 1. So that's equal to minus 4x equal to 2 or minus 4x equal to 4. So now we're going to divide both sides by minus 4. So we're going to have x equal to 2 over minus 4 or x equal to minus 4 over minus 4. So x, we can still simplify the x, uh, this, x equal to minus 1 over 2 or x gonna equal 1. So now we find the x solutions. Let's check our solution if it's true. So we have first x equal to minus 1 over 2. So 5, the absolute value of 1 minus 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 minus 15 equals 0. So 5 and the absolute value of 1 and minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 it's equal to plus 4 over 2 minus 15 equals 0 so 5 and 1 plus uh, 4 over 2 equal to 3 minus 15 equal to 0 and the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3, so 5 multiplied by 3 minus 15 equals 0. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15 minus 15, which is equal to 0. That is true. Now let's ch check for x equal to 1. So we have 5, absolute value of 1, minus 4, multiply by 1, minus 15, equal 0. So 5, and minus 4, multiply by 1, it's equal minus 4, and 1 minus 4, it's equal to minus 3 minus 15 equal to 0 and the absolute value of minus 3 is equal to 3 so 5 uh, multiply by 3 minus 15 equals 0 so 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15 minus 15 which equal to 0 and that's it true too. Now we can say the solution set is minus one over two, one. That's all for today. If you have any question, please leave it in the comments below and see you in my next video.